When the Modern Warfare reboot released in 2019, it was packed with references to past Call of Duty titles. And with that game's sequel, the appropriately named Modern Warfare 2 releasing last week, I thought why not take a look at 20 easter egg secrets and hidden details in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now this should really go without saying, but this video will contain spoilers for Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2019 and a couple of other games in the Call of Duty series. So if you want to avoid spoilers, stop watching now. As always, if you think I've missed anything, then please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin with the fourth mission in Modern Warfare 2, Tradecraft. After finding out Hassan is working with the Mexican cartel, the team head to Amsterdam to capture and interrogate a member of Las Salmas. Now, this is one of the many quote-unquote walking missions in Modern Warfare 2. Even with the limited freedom these missions offer, there are a couple of cool things to find. First up, at the beginning of the mission, you can find this. The cartel's guarding the bridge. We're on, Sergeant. So it really wouldn't be a Modern Warfare game without a nod to Burgertown. Burgertown is probably best known for its appearance in the original Modern Warfare 2, where you had to defend the fast food restaurant from Russian invaders. After poisoning a member of the cartel, you can head to a bike shop which is selling this t-shirt. We need to roll up our cartel friend for a talk. Now. If our friend gets a missile. The logo of the t-shirt is the same logo used by the Vedansk football team from Modern Warfare 2019. And finally, take a listen to the song this band is playing and see if it sounds familiar. So believe it or not, this song is Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Now I'd love to play the song here, but YouTube by YouTube and the video would almost certainly be taken down. But I will leave a link to the song in the description. Okay, so that does it for the Tradecraft mission. The next interesting find can be heard in the game's seventh mission, Close Air. This mission sees you providing air support to Ghost and the team on the ground. Now there are no Easter eggs to find in this mission. I mean, you spend most of it looking through a screen after all. But something that I did notice was the awesome sound design. During the mission, you are in constant communication with the ground team. And what's cool is, you can actually hear the shots you fire through the radio, with the shots that are closer to the team louder than those that are further away. Take a listen. Like I said, it's not an easter egg, but it is really cool. Next up is Mission 9, Recon by Fire. Now, the similarities between this mission and Call of Duty 4's All Gillied Up are there for all to see. There's even a part in the mission where Price and Gaz have to lay in the grass as enemies pass by. Here is what Price tells Gaz. Try to anticipate the path. If you have to maneuver, do it slow and steady. No quick movements. Keep your head still. It's going to be close. So Price is almost word for word repeating what Captain McMillan told him during the all gillied up mission. It's almost like a passing of the torch. Try to anticipate their path. If you have to maneuver, do it slow and steady. No quick movements. Oh, and you don't actually need to be stealthy during this mission. If you take out all of the enemies at the beginning of the mission, Price will say this. Not bad, Sergeant. I'm away from the days on the police force. Let's keep moving. That wasn't for me. I knew that the moment I saw you in Piccadilly Circus. Thank you, sir. So that conversation was a callback to the first time Price and Gaz met in Modern Warfare 2019. The next mission that warrants our attention is El Sonombre. 
This mission sees you playing as Soap, who promises the cartel information so that he can get close to their leader. After making it inside the compound, you find that Alejandro has also infiltrated the gang and has a few words of advice before meeting this charming fellow. <laughs> Is this the... Si, senor. You got a name, Hawk. They call me Soap. So Diego asking what kind of name is Soap is a reference to this scene from Call of Duty 4. Right, what the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? Next up is Mission 12 Dark Water. This mission pays homage to the Crew Quarters mission from Call of Duty 4 and sees you playing as Soap as he and the team board an oil rig to disarm one of Hassan's missiles. Now, as you might imagine, disarming a missile is a pretty time sensitive job. Well, if you wait as all around you panic, then this will happen. Roger that, actual standby. Soap, get on the controls. We're gonna have to do this together. Now the clock is ticking, so we gotta move, brother, all right? It's a two-man job, so... Tap in, let's get this done, yeah? Bloody hell, Soap. Get on the box. There's no time to fuck around here, Sergeant. Get on the controls. Johnny! You're wasting time, what the fuck? Sergeant, in 10 seconds, this thing is wrecked! Key in, now! Shadow One Actual, what's our status? Waiting on the sergeant to assist Actual! Five seconds left! Sergeant, help the commander now! Shit! We're locked out, it's gonna go. Holy god damn hell. Missiles away! Up next is Mission 13 alone. This mission takes place after the team were betrayed by Shepard and Graves, with you once again playing as Soap, who is forced to use everyday items to survive. This means that you'll spend most of your time scavenging inside of houses for useful materials. And it's when scavenging that you can find this. So this toy dog is a reference to Riley from Call of Duty Ghosts. Riley was a large part of Ghosts marketing and also appeared as an Easter egg in Modern Warfare 2019. Next up is Mission 14 Prison Break. This mission sees the team rescuing Alejandro and the remaining Vaqueros from a prison run by Graves' Shadow Squad. After rescuing Alejandro and the team, Price and Gaz offer a way out of the prison, but before the team can escape, they need to provide covering fire so that everyone can climb the wall. After everyone is over the wall, Price will say this. We're good to go, Coronel. Let's get the fuck out of here, hermanos. Down the wall. We are leaving. So Price saying we're leaving is a reference to this scene from Call of Duty 4. On your feet, soldier. We are leaving. Price also said the same line in the 2019 reboot. On your feet, we are leaving. Oh, and during the final cutscene of the Prison Break mission, Ghost will say this. Here it goes. Shepard burned us. So Ghost saying Shepard burned us is a callback to the way that General Shepard killed both Ghost and Roach in the original Modern Warfare 2, where after shooting the pair, he had their bodies burned. Up next is Mission 16 Ghost Team. In this mission, you finally go after Graves. Now, at the start of the mission, you find yourself in the tunnels below the Vaqueros headquarters. You're joined by Alfredo, Price, and a member of the Vaqueros. Now, the name of this soldier changes each time you restart the mission. However, if you restart it enough times, the soldier's name will change to Private Ramirez. Now, fans of the original Modern Warfare 2 will be very familiar with Private Ramirez. After all, he was asked to do a lot in the Wolverine's mission, which meant that you heard his name a whole bunch of times. Ramirez! 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 After exiting the underground tunnels, Price and Ramirez board a helicopter whilst Gaz and Alejandro head inside. The code for the door is this. What's the code? 627. Let's hope it still works. So 627 was Captain Price's prisoner number in the Gulag mission from the original Modern Warfare 2. I've detected two heat signatures. One of them should be prisoner 627. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it! Soap. 
place. Finally, if you die during this mission, one of the death screen quotes will be from someone called Perseus, who was the main villain in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Right, it's time for the final mission now. Countdown sees the team tracking down the location of the final missile, as well as the location of Hassan. It's a high stakes situation, and one that might cause you to fumble some of your high tech equipment. And if you do happen to toss a flash grenade at Price, he will say this. So Price saying, how did a Muppet like you pass election, is a reference to this scene from Call of Duty 4. How'd a Muppet like you pass selection? The final campaign reference can be heard after the team are blown up whilst trying to capture Hassan. After the explosion, Price is shot and left injured out in the open. Gaz pulls Price to safety and says this. Right. You broken? I'm good. Go! You got this. So Gaz asking, you broken, is a reference to the Piccadilly mission from Modern Warfare 2019. You broken? Now, I'm sure there are plenty of other references to past Call of Duty games in the campaign that I've missed. And if you think you know of one that I have missed, then please let me know in the comments. Right, let's wrap this video up with a couple of Easter eggs that can be found in Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. First up, on the Crown Raceway, you can find this. So this trophy is the Call of Duty Championship trophy that is handed out to the winners of the Call of Duty League. On the border crossing map, you can find this. So this RV is the same RV seen in Breaking Bad. Do you want to know how you can tell? Well, the duct tape on the door. That's how. In Breaking Bad, duct tape was used to cover up bullet holes in the RV just like the duct tape seen in Modern Warfare 2. Finally, and this isn't an easter egg or anything, I just think it's really cool, but if you inspect the revolver, your character will perform some seriously cool spins. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and hidden details in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.